All right, so I'm gonna take you through a common uh, well setup like we have here in the heavy oil side of the Canadian oil patch. Um, I'm just gonna run through some of the equipment and sort of why Bitcoin mining, especially in applications like this with vented methane, are uh, quite an awesome thing. So it starts with the well. Uh, these are rotary drives, it's a PC pump down hole. So that, that you can see the rod string spinning right there. And down hole, there's a pump pumping fluid to surface. So oil, water, sand, emulsion to those tanks back there. To drive that wellhead drive, it's a hydraulic setup on this lease. You can't go too close because it's loud, but inside this shack, is an engine running a hydraulic pump and that's pumping uh, hydraulic power through the hoses that come up into the top drive which drives the downhole pump. Now this site does not uh, or sorry it has more gas than it can consume so that engine there is a natural gas engine using the associated gas that comes up the well and off the casing, which is the lower uh, pipe coming out there. It feeds that engine, the gas feeds that engine. The gas also feeds, uh, heats those tanks in the background through a burner system, which I won't really go through. But this well, like most, probably most wells in the area have excess gas. So that excess gas is being used to run the hydraulic skid, which is running the well. It's used to heat the oil and so the oil and water can separate in those big green tanks back there. And the excess is either vented or flared. And in this case, it's vented. And I got another little quick video we'll append to this showing that vent. And we also installed a Bitcoin mine here, which I'm gonna take you through in a second. Uh, this big rig here. Uh, it's one of the bigger engines we uh, build and sell. And that takes up all the excess gas that this site cannot use. And the site cannot, it doesn't have a pipeline to sell the gas to. That It doesn't make enough gas to justify, you know, uh, trenching in a pipeline in this beautiful land here. The nearest tie -in's too far away. So all that excess gas is going to run a Bitcoin mine, which I'm gonna go through in a second. And it's in, in net effect is reducing the uh, vented natural gas and allowing the producer to actually produce uh, more oil because uh, regulatory rules restrict how much they can vent. So by using up more of the vent in this Bitcoin mine right here, a combo package, uh, they can turn this well a little faster, pump more oil, and with more oil, you get more gas. So they're able to get more gas consumed, allowing them to pump more oil and get more oil to the market, which is exactly what the world needs right now, as we all know, with gas prices through the roof. And, and one of the beautiful things about this is that Bitcoin mining, as you're gonna see here on, in this skid, it's, it's sort of a new, innovative way to export natural gas uh, out, you know, to anywhere in the world. It's really going to the Bitcoin network the gas is feeding an engine, the engine is uh, generating electricity, electricity is mining Bitcoin, and in effect, uh, the entire global Bitcoin network is paying this producer to export their gas out of Canada. And for those who are aware of what's going on in Canada, that's quite an amazing thing, because uh, right now, uh, Canada seems to be doing everything in its power uh, to keep its oil and gas from being exported uh, overseas. So this is one way to bypass all that political nonsense is uh, installing Bitcoin mines. Some people call them digital pipelines, portable sales points. Um, these things are really useful. So let me, let me take you through that now. All right, I'm gonna try to explain to you our combo unit. It's gonna be a little loud, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I'll start sort of just uh, explaining it and hopefully you can hear me where I'm sitting, but uh, on the right side of this building is an engine room uh, for a gen set and I'm going to tour you in there. Uh, so the gas is being fed to that gen set 
It's uh, running a motor, an engine, uh, in this case an 11 liter Doosan. It's approximately 180 kilowatt uh, worth of power. And in gas consumption, that would be somewhere around uh, 50 MCF a day at full load, uh, give or take. So uh, then that power being generated inside is immediately being consumed on this side of the building into you go into that man door. And you see these funky attachments on the outside. This is for uh, segregating the exhaust heat from the intake heat that comes in low. And I'll sort of uh, illustrate why they're designed that way because it's built for uh, heat recirculation when, when a, a customer wants it, and especially in cold environments. So I will stop there and sort of walk you through the building. This is the engine room. coming out from the fans, the heat's coming out and rising, the sliders can slide out so the user can have the heat come back down. The heat's feeding down here now on my head. So in winter, you can open these sliders and then the heat goes directly back into the intake. Uh, and that's a pre-filter right there. So you can reach in and open this up and clean out that pre-filter. That's just to take out all the large debris like the bugs and the fluff, you can see a lot of fluff in there right now. And this is sort of our proprietary design with rack, uh, computer racks, which I'll show you in a second, raised up above the intake down low. And that allows uh, any anything that does get past the filter should drop out on the floor. And it also enables this heat recirculation mechanism that we're using. Uh, that you normally is very difficult to do on a on a traditional, you know, one-way airflow data center or Bitcoin mine. Uh, you have to get fancy with like additional fan systems to do heat research. So going into the data center, it's a lot quieter than the engine side. So people people say, hey, Bitcoin mining's loud. Is it's not even close to uh, uh, running gen sets. But this is a 180 kilowatt combo. Uh, there's a lot of cables because they're running S9s and well, I think we only had certain cable lengths for them so there's a bit of a rat's nest. But they got 128 S9s in here stacked on shelves. Uh, this can do 100 and up to 180 kilowatt worth of power right now. They're only running it at about 100 kilowatt. Uh, that's gonna get slowly ramped up a bit more. And especially as you add new gen computers. But basically, you know, continuing with our, uh, sort of got our hash out design, we have a two-stage filter system. The pre-filter, which I showed you on the outside, takes away most of the crap, then they come, it gets sucked through here in their second stage filter system, which is just typical furnace filters that anyone can, you know, buy and replace. And overall, it gives pretty good filtration. Uh, we either put in like, uh, this is a pleated Merv 8 filter, but we also put in uh, fiberglass uh, when, when more airflow is needed. In this case, it's not, not a crazy amount of airflow is needed. It's a lower power unit or lower power density. But pretty simple. These are all old junky S9s. It's all, uh, all the user needs for, you know, uh, reducing emissions on an oil well. And this pretty much does the trick. Uh, in behind, I guess, in behind these racks are uh, exhaust fans. Uh, we have a new system now uh, that's fanless. It's a passive cooling with the option to add fans. 
Uh, but generally it's a pretty simple setup. The generator uh, feeds effectively a uh, uh, distribution panel shown here. It's a splitting power to two PDUs. So we got a few different PDU options in the works. And this is one of them. And that's being fed straight from the gen set on the other side. So it's a beautiful day in Alberta. An oil producer mining Bitcoin off gas that would normally be wasted. In fact, it'd be vented, which is uh, much worse in terms of emissions footprint than a flare even. So that's why when we deploy these small Bitcoin mines, everyone talks about the big mining, but when you deploy these small Bitcoin mines on, uh, and there's really you know tens of thousands of oil wells that need these, that could use these. And these wells have associated gas. It's sort of like opening up a pop can. The, uh, it foams up, there's gas with the with a can of Coke. Same with an oil well. You produce that oil, it's gonna bring up uh, associated gas uh, in solution with the oil. So some of that gas is actually venting out the top of that tank right there. You sort of see the gooseneck right at the top. Uh, so there's a bit of venting up there, but the bulk of the venting is coming off the gas tree and that's going into this Bitcoin mine. So, I mean, it sort of solves a lot of problems. You, you can, Bitcoin mining will eat up waste gas. Uh, and, you know, that's great because there's only so much in the ground. Uh, it'll reduce emissions uh, at the same time. It helps this producer produce more oil, which uh, I think the whole world wants right now. And, you know, it's uh, for all the uh, political blockades keeping our Canadian natural gas and oil off the market, uh, you can't stop this. So, have fun staying poor, uh, politicians.